Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Tuesday, January 5th, 2012. This is Texan TV News from Charleston State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I am Jasmine Sullivan. In today's headlines, Erath County Dispatch releases 911 call from Rough Creek Lodge. Possible motive with accused killer Eddie Ray Routh. In Charleston's Capital Delta Road men repair for rent a gent fundraiser. Stabbings in Houston leave one dead, two injured. Five-year-old boy is rescued from bunker in Alabama. Cambodia King passes a letter serving half a century. Now today's top story, Erath County Dispatch released a 911 call Monday from the fatal shooting of former Navy SEAL Chris Kyle and veteran Chad Littlefield. The call that lasts nine minutes and 17 seconds gives very little insight about what happened. The call begins with the caller needing an ambulance at Rough Creek Lodge, but then falls silent for over eight minutes. Once the call resumes, the caller again requests an ambulance and also a helicopter at Rough Creek Lodge. There is a paramedic on scene, the unidentified caller says. He's on staff and he started treatment. Erath County Dispatch said the recording is in real time and there was eight minutes between the two calls received. You can listen to the recording at www.texannews.net. More on this story as it develops. Also, in local news, accused gunman Eddie Ray Routh claimed to trade his soul for a new truck in an arrest affidavit posted by WFAA Channel 8 News. Routh, who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, has been discharged for the deaths of Kyle and Littlefield on Saturday afternoon. Police say Routh fled the scene in Kyle's Ford pickup to Lancaster, Texas. Police arrested him in Lancaster and was taken back to the Erath County Jail. According to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, there have been accounts of death threats towards Routh. Sheriff Tommy Bryant said there have been a number of threats made on different social media sites from ex-military and non-military folks, Bryant told the newspaper. They aren't confirmed threats, but people are putting the word out there that they want harm to come to Ralph. Ralph remains in solitary confinement, and Erath County Police have no intention of removing him from the jail. Ralph will not be leaving the facility for arraignment, Bryant said. In Campin News, the men of Cabo Desa Row are gearing up for their rent a gen auction that will take place tomorrow evening in the Student Center ballrooms. The men of KDR have been preparing for this event since November. Josh Simmons, president of Capital Delta Row, stated that his favorite part about the event is seeing all of these guys get up on stage and act like goose and for a greater good. good. rent a gen is an event where people can rent a member of KDR to help them with service projects. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, Authorities are in the process of finding out who shot out the windows of three vehicles Saturday evening. The Stephenville Police Department received three phone calls in the same time frame reporting that car windows have been busting out of vehicles on West Washington. Police say that the shots were possibly fired from a BB or pellet gun. Considering the impact of the damage of the vehicle, Stephenville Police suspect that the shots were fired in the area of the Bender Dormitory on Tarleton's campus. In Texan news, according to the Associated Press, a Houston man and woman were arrested and charged with capital murder after stabbing three people, leaving one dead and two injured. Suspects 44-year-old Neva Jane Gonzalez and 31-year-old Samuel Alvarado are charged for the murder of 46-year-old Jose Maez in his home. Police reported that all three of the victims were stabbed multiple times. Investigators say that the stabbings were involved with a robbery attempt. In national news, on Monday, Alabama law enforcement stormed an underground bunker to free a five-year-old boy from a man who held him captive since January 29th. According to the Associated Press, Jimmy Lee Dykes of Midland City took the child off a school bus after fatally shooting the bus driver. Dykes then hid himself and the child in a bunker, communicating with authorities through a ventilation pipe in the shelter. Authorities concluded that the child was in imminent danger after nearly a week of negotiating with Dykes. On Monday, officers raided the bunker to save the child and Dykes was pronounced dead. Although it is unclear how, neighbors described the sound of gunshots around the time that officials raided the bunker. No official statement has been released about the death of Dykes. The boy has been reunited with his mother and seems to be okay. In international news, the Associated Press reports that the Cambodian king, King Norman Don Sihanouk, passed away on February 4th after serving for half a century. Sihanouk was known as King Father and helped lead the Cambodians out of a genocidal Khun Rogue rule. Several thousand Cambodians attended an elaborate ceremony to celebrate the life of the king. In sports, according to the Associated Press, the Dallas Cowboys are facing the shelf life of fame for the lack of winning football games. The Associated Press quotes, how many years of losing will it take after all for the Cowboys to lose this kind of nationwide devotion? The Cowboys are drawing close to that since they have only won a single postseason game in the past 16 seasons. 
And in weather, for today's forecast, the high will be 71 degrees with a low of 52. Tomorrow will be scattered sun thunderstorms developing through the afternoon with a high of 71 and a 50% chance of precipitation. Today's broadcast was produced by Kaylee Bedingfield, Emily Bracey, Dallas Birch, Jamie Williams, and Tyler McConty. You can follow Texas Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Jasmine Sullivan. Tune in tomorrow for the latest news from Charleston State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.